losing my grip I need someone Who can make me feel better Wrap me up in a sweater Treat my pain with a kiss Then suddenly you are here Inside my head everywhere Where did you come from? I'm wondering Baby, are you I've been alone For what seems like forever Try to hold it together But I'm losing my grip I need someone Who can make me feel better Wrap me up in a sweater Treat my pain Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel It's time to a mini Anyway, I want to come to you guys today it's keto day nine. For some reason, I thought I posted on my TikTok that it was keto day nine then, but I posted seven. Anyway, I'm not rushing anything. I'm super excited that the scale is going down. Also, I feel healthy. I am tired, but because I got up early, I'm drinking my coffee earlier. So I can just go ahead and get the fats already working in my system. Even if I do take a nap, because I do have to take a nap sometimes. Breastfeeding life. So, anyway, I'll be back to y'all later. Anyway, that's much better. So, um, I am freaking excited. My body is healing. Like I told y'all that these moles things that come on you, skin tags and stuff, those are signs of, I had one back here. I don't know if you can see it, but it was starting to go away. Let me see one picture. Keto, before I had one right here on my eye. And one day I just felt it just melting. It was just melting away. So I was starting to get one up under my underarm. You see it right there? I tell you, I should have recorded yesterday I don't know why, but yesterday it was dangling, and now it's not dangling. It's disappearing. Like, y'all, if y'all not on keto by now, and I just got the shower, so my face looking mad dry. I need to put my creams on and stuff, but if you're not keto, get on it. Like. It, even if you're not doing it for a long term and then you want to adapt to like low carb and taking care of yourself and because I'm not going to say I'm never going to have macaroni and cheese banana pudding, a slice of cake ever again but right now on my healing journey of healing my body I'm going to heal it I'm not going to um, do anything to jeopardize my life right so that's the crazy thing and so I showed y'all this years ago it fell off my side. I had one on my side. And I got that from when I was pregnant with my second son. It just grew. Um, I kept reading missed things, uh, mixed messages about it. Like, oh, it's from when you get too fat and it's in your crevices. Baby, if you look at the way my waist is, I don't have that much rolls. Okay, we don't have that many rolls. That's the only spot right there. Like, I might be 200 and something pounds. That's another thing, y'all. I was 273 after I had my baby. Then I gained weight to 277. And now, today is June, June the 20th. And now I am 269.6. So, it's working. And the weight is not coming back. I have my mind more focused this time, I feel like. And I think that's, that's the reason. So... I'm not looking for an easy way out. I'm not looking for anything like that. I'm making sure I'm taking out my supplements, but I'll come see y'all back tomorrow morning and talk to y'all more about my supplements um, to make sure y'all are doing it as well because that will make you crave if you're not getting in the right nutrients and uh, making sure your supplements are getting put in you. 
Um, but yeah, I got that skin. It was, it's called a skin tag. I got that from carrying my son. They did not say I had any signs of like diabetes, but over the years it would grow, grow, grow. Got that big one time. I said, let me go ahead and try keto in 2008. It was a fail. I mean, not 2018, 2018. And then, um, before I got my son, so I restarted again and I lost 20 pounds. So before we got our fifth son, I restarted keto in 2019. Um, like what month? I want to say June or July. Oh, that's weird because I just started keto again and it's June. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Wow. So I started then and um, yeah. I lost 20 pounds and then it started going away again. The weight started coming off again. And um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all more about the rest of it tomorrow because it's a lot of details that need to be put in here that a lot of people don't know. And that's the reason why they have a standstill on being keto. And then they be like, forget it, I'm not losing weight no more. So then I'll come back and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Talk to y'all later. Good night. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock, even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, one big rock. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, you got talk, that is real cheap, but it's really cool Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl, my mother, Amina I'm here to come with a video, um, telling y'all about my supplements and how I'm doing on keto So, I wound up, um, a channel all my supplements. Hold on. So hey y'all. We're going to my room. Whatever. <laughs> so anyway, um it's not all glammy and all glitzy. Not yet. Cause we doing we doing stuff in the background so people can know and see and be in our business because I feel like I have to be having people checking for me. That if they want to know my business, they could just call me. So, anyway, y'all yeah, don't care to hear all this. So, let me get to this video. Let me show you some of my supplements. My daddy holding the baby sleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. While well, he holding that back, my beautiful, my beautiful daughter. And she sleep. So, um, I drink body armors as a supplement. Also, I do the, um, the low carb kind. Um, the light. I drink water. Um, so let me show you my supplement. I feel like this helped me. And they almost gone. Talk to y'all about these placenta pills. This is my first time ever doing it. And it only costs $300 to get them done. She also made me some drops. If I remember to put the drops in the video, I'll show y'all later. But, um, yeah. This is my placenta. I think she said they made 141. Y'all, I don't understand. I'm assuming they made 141 pills because I've had them for over since she's been born, basically. I got it done like the next day we came home. I started looking and contacting and the lady came and got it like the next day. Um, I was at home. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, I feel like this is what made my hair grow after having her. And I feel like this is what's been keeping me grounded. God, of course, but this too. And I have drops too that she made out of my placenta. And I put a couple of drops in there if I feel like I'm overwhelmed. And it works. So they're almost gone. That was good. They helped me out a lot. Now I'm just taking one a day. 
um because i wanted them to stretch a little bit but yeah so y'all know i have my gallbladder removed so even though i'm being keto and stuff i have to have stuff to help me with my digestive system even if i'm not keto but still i still have to have stuff so mostly enzymes bomb.com you want the one that has the ox bio powder in it so you can be getting what you need so i have probably about like three let me show you the pills i have um it's like two a day it's like two after each meal so that's what they look like and i have at least probably two to three meals a day it depends on how my food is sometimes i'll get a little snacky snack at the end but um yeah so yeah if you had your gallbladder removed please get these and if it's not working, it's because you're eating the wrong thing. Yes, you're going to still be gassy. Yes, you're going to still make that stanky smell. Yeah, I'm going to cut off. So, yeah, whatever. If um, you're doing all that, yeah, that's why. You're not eating the right food. You still got to eat right. <laughs> so, my next supplement, I'm breastfeeding. So, I take D3 and K2. It's time to get me some more because this is my second bottle. I do not want to run out. So, I'll be getting me some more soon. And, yeah, you know what this helps with. And it has omega-3 and MCT oil in it. And I have the raspberry, um, I mean, it has a strawberry flavor. It is real strawberry. It's not fake. It's organic strawberry. If you can see it, it's organic strawberry. It's not going to pop up. But anyway, another one of my supplements I take. <laughs> Got it from Walmart. I'm going to show you what they look like. So anyway, hopefully I don't cut off. Um, yes, I have to bring up on these. And I just added this into my supplements. I use a collagen powder too. So if I remember to get that, I'll put that on here. But yeah, this seems like I've been going to the bathroom um, since I've been using them often. So what else did I show y'all? Oh. Electrolytes, I only use them after I work out, and some days when I don't work out, I actually use it. But if I know I'm gonna work out, this the only time I use them. That's what they look like, and I got the trial pack, comes with 10 of them in there. If you buy these, I got these from Amazon. Um, if you buy these, make sure you open up and look at the dates because some of them I got got old in June, and so I'm still using them because it's June. Oh yeah, it has different flavors. It has peach mango, blue raspberry, raspberry, and cherry palm and grape. I like the grape so far only. And I almost invested into a whole grape and my husband was like, no, I like the um, cherry palm. I'm like, I'm like, you don't have to have separate containers then because they come in the 90 um, days with a 90 count in them. Um, it sounds like, well, because I can have 45 days, we can have 45 days, we share it, but no. Because they high, they're like 40, 50 bucks for them things. So, this is my Nutri Bump. I showed y'all this before. And it's for pregnant women and breastfeeding moms. Pre workout. Thank God they finally came out with something. Jesus. I was dying after my um, fifth child. So, this works. It's very good. I'm going to add a clip anyway in here with this. I, I don't need to show it open it um this is my last supplement <laughs> they have a honey flavor one um uh, it's real honey and yes it has carbs it's 10 carbs for two tablespoons but i still use it because i'm already carb conscious cautious cautious carb cautious conscious cautious yeah cautious so i'm already aware of what is going inside of my body so i know i'm not getting nothing but carbs from vegetables and limited of fruits so anyway that's my supplement so and let me get this out to y'all so um yeah i'm feeling good i feel good i feel like i'm going to be at least 250 by the end of july I am not fasting with this. It's because I am breastfeeding. I listen to Dr. Berg. He said no fasting for breastfeeding moms or pregnant moms. I used to actually fast anyway because I was, um, what's it called? I was, um, already like trained mentally. So I was already fasting and doing that anyway. 
So now I won't be doing that. I'm going to teach myself a lot of things like making keto uh, snacks, keto meals. Like I just did a keto parfait. We ate that. I don't think I posted it. I need to post it. So um, I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff and a lot of cooking on my channel. I'll keep y'all updated, especially with me and my hubbies. Um, hubbies, I call him hubs, not hubbies. My hubs, um, our meals and stuff like yeah, I cook for him at night, like when he has to go to work and he has it in the morning or he eats the leftovers we had that's keto. And that's how we do around right here. We take care of him. I told him, I said, give yourself at least six months, baby. Give yourself at least six months because I know they probably got all turned into banana pudding and stuff. I'm like, but what if they don't? And then you're going to just, you're gonna have to just say forget it, whatever, right? So, um... Because we're, we're about building health. I'm not saying we're never going to be able to have macaroni and cheese, the regular barbecue sauce and stuff ever again. The purpose is to heal right now. So we need to heal and cleanse out our systems. So I made a little detox drink to drink with um, powdered greens, grapefruit juice, and apple cider vinegar, and half a squeeze of a lemon. And so my husband was like, nah, I can't drink that detox shot um drink or whatever <laughs> in the morning he said no he said make some go so i keep y'all informed with that um how that goes and if it's working for us i know it's working for him it works for me too i feel refreshed every time i drink it so that's the good thing about mine so anyway um i keep saying um because i be forgetting trying to figure out um what else so yeah um, last time I checked my waist was like a 45 and that was after I had baby girl and maybe I was about two or three weeks postpartum. I haven't checked since, so my waist is probably smaller. Y'all, I am like just, I be thinking about like how I beat myself up in my early 20s, my late, my early 20s and my late 20s about like my weight. Because like if I go back and I'm looking at the videos, I'm like, girl, you wasn't even fat like that. I was just thick. Like I was supposed to look now I'm actually was almost hit 300 pounds and it's because of what people say stop letting people dictate your life and I had my first son and I was smiling after I even had him and I had a person have they nerve to tell me I was fat and it was supposed to be a family member I'm only coming over here to see talk to y'all about y'all dead relative and you want to talk about my body instead of saying hi how you doing oh your son is cute oh that's your husband no you're gonna talk about my weight weird and i let that stuff bother me so but i was in my early 20s but if you're trying to say something now about my weight i'm just gonna cuss you out or put you in your place because i birthed eight children and my body is not going to say cute and petite all my life i never was petite i used to wear a size with nine eleven Sometimes I used to get fancy and drop back down to a five. But that was a choice of mine because I was athletic. I like to run. I like and, and so when I didn't run, I gained a little weight. So but after having my son, I was wearing a size eleven. After I had him, I was back down to a size nine. So I mean, it depends on the pregnancy and it depends on your environment also. So yes, my environment has been stressful. Um not because of the kids, but because of what people be saying and be trying to say rude and nasty things instead of being family and actually being family. Um, but yeah, other than that, my health is good. And now at this point in my life, it's all about a healing journey. And if you're not that for us, we not doing it because we know the truth. We know about the Bible. We know, we know what we need to know. So you don't have to be involved. So at the end of the day, um, that's your life. You do what you do. You doing what we do. So I'm taking care of my health. My husband's taking care of his. He's teaching our kids about fruits and vegetables and how to eat and what to eat and what not. And don't be one to overindulge and have seconds all the time. So anyway, it's all about a healing journey, like I said. And thank you guys for watching my video. And stay tuned and subscribe. Keep up with your girl. I got a TikTok. My TikTok is Shanice. I think it's whatever my TikTok is. I put it up on here. I definitely put my TikTok up there on the screen. So you can keep up with me because sometimes I post there first before I post my shorts on um, YouTube. So talk to y'all later and y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Peace.
Add it in, Shanice. <laughs> These are my supplements too. And I put them in my tea. 